Hello. <laughs> first things first, I have my new phone. But there are some steps I'm missing. That's why I'm not recording with that phone because then I won't be able to have this video up in time because it will be harder for me to edit. And by the way, do you know which editing software there is on a Samsung Galaxy 10s or S10 or what it's called? Um, because on iPhone I had iMovie. Yeah. And I'm going to use my real camera, but I'm missing a cord. <laughs> so yeah, my brother is helping with that. That's why I'm still having this stupid sound. <laughs> and I have rearranged my my apartment no my makeup room that's why you see a different background because i have turned my table and i need to fix the lights uh but at this time i had to have the lights so close to me so i know it's super bright but that's what we're working with and um, i know look at my hair like why why well i'm going to fix that later today uh and I have been away again <laughs> for two weeks because of reasons and I'm trying to get back. I'm not quitting. I'm trying to get myself back. It feels like I'm crooked. Am I crooked? I, never mind. Uh, but it's taking its time and I'm letting it. So should it be like that? Okay. Yeah. And yeah. And today is the video. I'm recording the video that should have gone up last week, but it's going up tomorrow if nothing happens, which it still can do. And this is the last video in my Linda Marlin series, and it's a bonus video because it's the brand. It's a brand we already have, and we have picked shades for each other. And now I should have checked who picked for me. I think Linda picked for me because Marlin picked last time. Yeah, I think so. And she has picked this eyes on the 80s i haven't used this i think or have i they had these eyes on the 60s 70s and 80s and i think i have 60s and 80s because i couldn't get a hold of the 70s and this is a plastic thing yeah so it looks like this uh it's probably very old but hey how do i use this i don't know but the shades that Linda picked for me. Let's see so I remember now. I think so. Oh god, I hope I'm right. But she picked that orange, the red, the pink, the neon green, and that pink shimmer. So we're going to do a look with that. Uh, yeah. Let's try that out. I have been doing my makeup, but not filming it because I didn't want to film with this terrible sound but yeah you have survived the last videos so you have survived now also I don't know is that better I don't know it is you next week is my birthday my birthday is the six of February so it's on Thursday Tuesday no Tuesday is the day after Monday Thursday it's the day after Wednesday and I love birthdays and holidays but at the same time I hate them because I always get so disappointed uh, and I don't mean that I get disappointed in the gifts that I get N nothing like that but it's just like you get reminded of things um, so yeah my brother's birthday is a week before me so we celebrated that yesterday where is my brushes um, yeah and we will be celebrating it with friends and stuff I guess in a week but yeah let's see what am I going to do I'm suspecting that these shades are not the most pigmented, but let's try. 
because this is an old BH formula and it's a cheap one. So we'll try. Well, this is okay also for being a neon shade. And these don't have names. So let's just do it like that. I'm going to take this away later because. Well, first I'm going on to watch a volleyball game. Oh god, I got high. Yeah. Um, uh, I'm going to watch that. And then I'm going to Madeleine to watch Melody Festival. And I talked about this last year. But Melody Festival is, you know, the Swedish um, version of Eurovision Song Contest. It's where we take out our song that is competing in Eurovision Song Contest and it's a uh, competition they have changed it a bit but it's like they have uh, four Saturdays in a row uh, with contestants and then they all the ones that are voted uh, to win in the competition they are you know like this I think they've changed it so every Saturday there is seven contestants and two of them are voted, the, the one that gets the most votes um, get to be in the final and two is competing in a second chance or what you can call it. So first you have four um, semi-finals, should you call it like that, and eight contestants get through to um, the final. And then after that we have the second chance and there is eight uh, contestants in that as well and four of those are getting through to the final so in the final there will be 10 contestants that got the most votes that's how they have had it the last years but maybe they will change it um, and then we will vote again and uh, ever since Malmö built their big arena we always have um, one of the semi-finals in Malmö and my workplace is actually the big sponsor of Melody Festival this year um, so I'm helping out with some stuff um, so that is fun um, and I really like that but these are okay actually but we'll see. Sometimes these types of shades um, fade away. And I'm sorry if I'm really confusing or boring because I'm really trying to get back into being me. But at least I'm not sad. Yay! But I'm white! <laughs> uh, let's take the red. Because I have four mattes and one shimmer. But at least it's not as sad. It's not a satin at least. So let's take the red and this is not very pigmented but maybe we can build it up. So the other girls are obviously having other palettes uh, that they work with because we got to choose the palettes for each other as long as well as the shades. So you have to go and watch Molly and Linda's videos as well. And then Molly and Linda are actually coming to visit me in a few weeks. Um, in the end of February <laughs> uh, they are coming to stay with me for four days um, I think and on the Saturday we are also uh, so we may film something but on the Saturday when they are here we are going to meet Lisa that is coming down from where she lives <laughs> and also Angelica uh, and Lisa Lombardi if you didn't know her and um, my friend uh, Madeleine. So we will be six girls and we will go eat in a restaurant that I have to book. Uh, and we will not film because yeah, Madeleine does not have a YouTube channel and um, it's too much to have six people when you film like that. And um, maybe someone will vlog or something but we will not do a video like normal but it will be so much fun and i'm really looking forward to it but i guess it's like four weeks away now Ooh, this is weird <laughs> let's take where did i now yeah 
When you rearrange, you don't remember where you have everything. Let's take the shimmer. This looks like more like a topper shade, so we'll see what we can do. Yeah, I didn't finish, but uh, I'm going to watch Melody Festival at my friend's place, and I want to have a more uh, glittery, um, appropriate look for that, which is in my mind like super pink and yeah. Yeah, crazy. <laughs> and I don't want to have this. If I feel like it, I may record it. It depends on how much time I will have. And I will have to have that on the volleyball game as well, so it can't be too crazy. Like that. And then we will have to take uh, the pink under the eye. Some of you asked me if I could do, you know, a video where I do my whole makeup, you know, not just the eyes. And I will try to do that and get ready with me when I'm feeling like Because I would like to do that with the new camera because then it will be better quality both in sound and picture uh, or lighting or whatever. These are okay actually. It's not hard, but it's not, you know, I wouldn't expect this to be the best shades ever. Uh, because it's old and it's BH in the early days. Um, and this is also a neon, and they usually fade after a while. And it's cheap. <laughs> but they were actually okay. And let's see. I think I'm going to take in the inner corner the pink as well. This is a bit glittery, so I hope it won't irritate my eyes. I used my Jawbreaker palette uh, for the first time. Uh, was it this week? I think so. I've used it two times. Uh, I loved it. Håller du på mig? Är inte slika på golvet? Nej. Nej, du är sur. Du är sur. Gunvald är smålt. Like that. It's really weird uh, to have the pink like this and then the pink there and then have the green in the middle here but it's a bit different at least like that well i'm going to do the rest and then i will be back it feels like i have forgotten something and the last few times i have doing, been doing my makeup i have forgotten to do my brows but i have my brows on um so i don't know what it should be that i have forgotten but never mind uh, I have a um, birthday suit from Tarte on, it's moosey, and I like this look, um, you know, it's like a sunset look and I like that, um, with this palette, you can see through, but there is, that's why I keep the plastic, you know, so it won't destroy the shadows. Um, I think the quality was okay, it was buildable. Um, I have a hunch that they won't last as long as other shades I have because the neon has already started to vanish a bit but that is like most neons do that. Um, not all but most. Um, but otherwise I don't have a problem with it. You could build it up and they were easy to blend so yeah the shimmer looks okay. I like the matte better than the shimmer I used but I only used one shimmer so. But it was fun colors that Linda, I think it was Linda, <laughs> picked for me. Um, and you know, it's a regular um, 
rainbow palette but this is you know more focused on you know the 80s but it's still so modern that it has a QR code do you call it that we say that get the bold 80s look at bhcosmetics.com maybe I should have done that look well never mind uh, go check out Linda and Marlin and this will be the end of this series it was really fun to just use well not old palettes and not only old palettes but to do something different and yeah it was just fun and maybe we will do something similar in the future but um, yeah right now I'm trying to get back to being me and uploading more frequently on my channel and yeah but now it, February is going to be tough um, it's my birthday and yeah a lot of stuff so we'll see what happens and I won't promise anything but I will of course record my haul and then I have been thinking about my palette collection that I have promised and I'm actually thinking of doing it by brand um, because I don't feel like going around in my makeup room and yeah it's going to be hard with the revolution palettes um, since I have so many of them uh, but with most of the palettes I think I'm going to go by brand and that will be easy for me because I have a uh, what what is that called now a list I always forget the name I have a list with all my palettes and I'm go my camera is crooked I'm so sorry uh, I, I'm going to update that because I haven't done that in the last hauls I've had but when I update that I will start and that will be much easier for me to just take it one letter at a time and I will divide it up into parts um, yeah so that is my plan at least and I will of course finish my Huda Beauty series and my Zodiac series but it will take longer than I expected yeah that was all I think and I'm so happy that I finally Took the time to sit down and film because I think it's fun, you know. Yeah, I think that was all. Bye.